you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. If you don't hate the least, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We could unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens. Convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact that each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion. Segregated into teams. Uh, you're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you Antifa. Screaming from the rooftops. Beat down better. Turn us on each other now. No lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. Facts. People hate the president, if you don't, then you trash. Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. Facts. The government abuses us, it's all part of the plan. Facts. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement, but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non-black humans who don't feel included. All colors fall under laws to govern the whole country, and we all suffer. We're all broke and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers. Hey, the music we make. All about big booties and getting paid. Hey, whoa. We watch the news and it fills up our brains with violence and riots and riots. Like, this is a race war. You need to hate more. Get what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can't break away from. They control the culture, they control the paper. They're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation. The music we love make us dumb and addicted. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. The virus is riots and racist conditions ain't problems. They're symptoms of life in the system. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. The music will make you dumb. The media makes you hate. And they control them both. There ain't no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos Economy crashing and massive layoffs Black against white or it's left versus right Divide and conquer and control is the payoff Screaming from the rooftops Beat down better Turn us on each other now No lives matter If we do what the news wants Blood don't splatter Turn us on each other till no lives matter How's everybody doing today? It is June 9th, 2021. Um, I had a really long day today, but this article stuck out to me a couple days ago, and I wanted to make a video on it really quick. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope that um, with what's going on every single day, we feel everything building inside. I know you can feel it. I can feel it. We're seeing it just, you know, in everything right now. I just want to tell everybody that, you know, we are going to get through this. One way or another, always know, we win in the end, right? Jesus wins in the end. Nothing's going to change when it comes to that. So no matter what I talk about, no matter what I, you know, what we discuss, what we, you know, go through on a daily basis, please do not ever fear one bit of it. Fear is what they are trying to use to come after us. So just remember, you have no fear, no panic. Just completely just set up your plan, prepare with your family, you know, and just get yourself in the best position that you can be in. Now, that being said, let's look at this article here because, like I said, it stuck out to me. And I'm just wondering if there is a little bit of, um, you know, them telling us the truth, you know, or at least, you know, showing us things like they like to, right? Like they, they always love to throw it in our face. And um, as you can see here, right, look at this. It says Biden's incentive to get Americans jabbed by July 4th, beer and sports tickets. And I've, I, we've covered this, how they're giving everything away. That's not what caught my attention. We see that. We know that. That's happening everywhere, right? This is the part. Is there something here that they're saying, right? Is there something going on here that, you know what I mean, they're trying to, uh, they're kind of putting it in plain sight, right? July 4th. Why, why, do, why do they want to get us, you know, done by that date, right? And, th you know, this wasn't the only article. Look, I'll go back and show you. You know, look at this. They want this. Look at increasingly unlikely to meet this July 4th date. Free beer. You know what I mean? Over and over again. But it's all about this. Look at 
CV jabs. Biden wants 70% with at least one shot by July 4th, right? So I don't know. It could mean absolutely nothing. It could just be them just doing everything they can to, you know, push it as fast as they can. But it also could mean that's, you know, kind of a starting point of maybe where they're really going to start turning, you know, the tables against us. And we've been seeing that. Let's read a little bit of this. It says, ah, uh, dangling everything from sports tickets to a free beer, President Joe B is looking to, for that extra something, anything that will get people to roll up their sleeves for CV19 shots when the promise of a life-saving jab by itself hasn't been enough. Does that not scream red flags? Just, just right in your face, right? Listen to that. Look at that. That extra something, anything that will get people to roll up their sleeves. Wow, right? Yeah, if that doesn't scream to you, run the other way, I really don't know what would, you know? Joe B. on Wednesday announced a month of action. See, this was another part that stood out to me, a month of action. So is that what we got? A month, you know what I mean, before things really start to, you know, line up really fast? It says, a month of action to urge more Americans to get jabbed before the July 4th holiday, including an early summer sprint of incentives and a slew of new steps to ease barriers and make getting the shots more appealing to those who haven't received them. He is closing on his goal of getting 70% of adults at least partially jabbed by Independence Day, essential to his aim of returning the nation to something appropriate, approaching a pre-pandemic sense of normalcy, right? The new normal. Oh no, not the new normal, Eric. They're saying to get us back to normal like we were before. Open your eyes, people. There is no going back to any type of normal that you thought we were in anyways. But this new normal is only going to continue to change because they're only going to continue to take away more of your rights, enforce more things on you, etc., etc. And another thing that stood out to me, why is it just one um, one jab, right? One dose of it, right? You know, if it's not, if it, if, if you're not protected, right, until you get both doses, why would it matter if you got everybody to have one dose, right? What, what, what does that, that doesn't make sense to me. Maybe because they want that, at least one dose of that into you for a different reason. We'll leave it at that, right? You know, <laughs> look at June is a critical month on the path to normal. They're going to continue to throw this in our face over and over again. And this is the whole plan, right? Throw it out right now. Show people how they can go back to ball games, go back to sporting events, go back to work, go back here, go to the beach, right? Do all these things that they're allowing people to do right now. Not wear masks, right? Et cetera, et cetera. So that when they pull it again, because they're going to pull it again, right? I can almost guarantee it. They're going to pull it again. And when they pull those, or put more restrictions on us, et cetera, et cetera, start telling you got to wear masks, this and that again, then they can instantly say, look, it's these people like me, right? Like Eric, like you, that will not go and get their, you know, roll up their sleeves. They're the reason why we had to take away your, you know, the rights that we just gave back to you, right? Your new normal, you know, they're the problem. We're the problem. That is where this is going. It says, the more people we get jabbed, the more success we're going to have in a fight against this virus. Well, I don't know if you've looked at the numbers, even their, their numbers that we know from Johns Hopkins that I can't stand even talking about them, but, you know, because they're the only ones that reports this worldwide, which is kind of funny. Uh, wouldn't you have multiple different agencies and all different types of things in on this? No. Anytime you look at a number, it says reported from Johns Hopkins University. Anyways, okay. Isn't you know, aren't the, aren't the numbers coming down drastically? So why do we need to do this? Why do we have to go this far? And if you're protected when you get to jab, why do you care if I get it? Just go and get jabbed, right? It's so simple. You're worried about it. You want to be protected? Go get it. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to push you to go do that. Don't come after me, right? It doesn't add up. There is no common sense anymore. There is no true logic anymore. There is no thinking things out for yourself anymore. I've never seen, you know, it become as far as it has to where these people just instantly do what they're told, do what they see. Every day they're programmed, every single day they're just nonstop shoved in their head, shoved in their head, shoved in their head. Every TV commercial, every radio station, hurry and get the jab, hurry. Uh, why'd you do it? I did it because I want to hug my mom. I, then go hug your mom. You know what I mean? Let's stop being so ridiculous about this. But it's not going to stop. They're not going to be ridiculous. They're not going to stop being ridiculous. They're going to become more ridiculous and it's going to escalate. And I truly believe come this fall, right, when technical, you know, our actual flu season comes, right, because then people will be sick again, right? 
that is when I really think we're going to see a slam dunk into it. You know what I mean? Into a whole nother level. But like I wanted to say at the beginning, I am not preaching fear. I am never telling you to panic. I just want you to see that there is a lot more coming, okay? You know, it goes on. He says, he predicted that with more jabs, America will soon experience a summer of freedom. Can okay, this is insane when I read this stuff. A summer of freedom. Hmm, that stood out to me as well, right? A summer of freedom. Why wouldn't it just say that they would experience, you know, their freedoms back, right? Why, why is it only a summer? Just stands out to me. These could be nothing, but you know, I always like to tell you, the stuff that kind of pops out at me, that is one. Like they're telling you, this is your last summer, you know, or so-called. You get what I'm saying, right? It says, a summer of joy, a summer of get-togethers and celebrations, an all-American summer. Well, this is supposedly a worldwide thing, right? So I love how you want to just make it an American thing now, too. Anyways, I need to get this edited really quick. I want to get it out tonight, and uh, I got to get to bed, got to get up, go to work really early in the morning. So, but I just want to tell everybody thanks for the comments. I have been trying to write back as much as I can, like on the way, you know, writing in on my boss to work and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? When I got a minute, and uh, I'm trying to comment back and forth like I always used to. So, I will definitely get to my comments. I want to talk to you, and uh, just know I'm praying for everybody, and uh, that's all we can do is continue to pray against this, right? And like I told you before, if you have any issues with your family right now, if it's something small, something you can work out, please do it because we, we just don't know. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to be taken away tomorrow. And we truly just don't. We're not promised tomorrow, right? Everybody stay safe. Stay strong. We'll talk to you real soon. God bless.